Bottega Veneta is an Italian luxury fashion house founded in 1966 in Vicenza by Michel Taddy and Renzo Zengiaro. The founders of the brand shared a passion for producing high-quality leather goods. They founded the business with the intention of creating artisanal leather goods that were not only beautiful and functional, but also had a distinct and recognizable style. The early years of Bottega Veneta were focused on developing the iconic Intrecciato weave, which quickly became the brand's signature look. The intricate weave pattern, which is created using thin strips of leather, not only looks good but also adds strength and durability to the products. Bottega Veneta's products became instantly recognizable as a result of this distinctive design feature, earning the brand the slogan, when your own initials are enough. Bottega Veneta opened its first store in the United States in New York City in 1972, cementing its position in the luxury fashion market. In the mid-1970s, the company expanded its product line to include shoes. This change allowed the brand to reach a broader audience and solidified Bottega Veneta's position as a luxury fashion house. Renzo Zengiaro left the company in the late 1970s. Michel Taddy soon handed over the company to his ex-wife, Laura Bragayon. She co-founded the company with her second husband, Vittorio Maltido, and relocated to New York to further develop the brand. Bragion's tenure as CEO was distinguished by a commitment to expanding the brand's presence in the United States and becoming a member of the local elite social circle. In 1980, actress Lauren Hutton was seen carrying a Bottega Veneta Intrecciato bag in the film American Gigolo, boosting the brand's visibility even further. Andy Warhol, a well-known artist, even created a short film, Bottega Veneta Industrial Videotape, in 1985, further solidifying the brand's place in popular culture. Bottega Veneta launched its first ready-to-wear collection in the 1990s, further expanding its reach in the fashion industry. Customers responded positively to the brand's emphasis on quality, craftsmanship, and style, helping to establish Bottega Veneta as a leading luxury fashion house. Are you enjoying this story? If so, remember to subscribe to our channel. Gucci, a Kering subsidiary, purchased Bottega Veneta for $156 million in 2001 and appointed Patrizio Di Marco as CEO and Tomas Meyer as creative director. This ushered in a new era for the brand, which Vogue dubbed Stealth Wealth. Bottega Veneta launched a fashion jewelry line in 2002, followed by a fine jewelry line in 2006. By 2005, the company had returned to profitability, and sales had increased 15-fold between 2001 and 2010. Marco Bizzari became CEO in 2009, and in 2011, Bottega Veneta released its first women's fragrance. The brand sales reached $1 billion in 2012. In addition, the company established a three-year, tuition-free training program in collaboration with a four-century-old school, as well as independent artisanal leather workshops for unemployed women in mountain communities. Bottega Veneta opened its first flagship store in Milan in 2013 after relocating its atelier to an 18th-century villa near Montebello Vicentino. Carlo Alberto Barretta was appointed CEO in 2014 and the brand opened its second flagship store in Beverly Hills in 2016. The brand revived a clutch bag from the 1980 film American Gigolo during its 50th anniversary show. Bottega Veneta opened a flagship store in Ginza, Tokyo, in 2018, as well as a third in New York City. Tomas Meyer stepped down as creative director in that same year and Daniel Lee joined the company to become the new creative director. Under his direction, the brand introduced the pouch clutch bag, which quickly became the brand's most successful bag. 
Lee upheld Bottega Veneta's reputation for producing high-quality, logo-free, and minimalist items, and even helped resurrect the square-toe heel trend. Keering also appointed Bartolomeo Rongon as CEO in June 2019. Under Daniel Lee's leadership, the company announced plans to open a third manufacturer of Veneta Poletteri location in Duville and opened its first store in Miami. Bottega Veneta received four awards at the British Fashion Awards in 2019. As Gucci's sales began to fall, Bottega Veneta emerged as Keering's next rising star, with sales reaching 1.140 billion euros by the end of 2020. The brand shocked the luxury industry in January 2021 when it abruptly shut down its social media accounts and replaced traditional monthly fashion shows with private trunk shows called salons. For these events, the company even experimented with industrial setups and hip-hop guest stars. During the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, Berlin police investigated a salon after-party held at the Soho House in April 2021 for failing to follow social distancing and masking guidelines. Bottega Veneta and Daniel Lee announced their decision to end their collaboration on November 10, 2021, hearing appointed Matthew Blasey, a former Bottega Veneta design director, as the brand's new creative director. Blasey is expected to carry on the new Bottega aesthetic established by his predecessor, Daniel Lee. Bottega Veneta returned to Milan for its fashion shows under Blasey's direction and announced plans to relocate the company's headquarters to the historic Palazzo San Fedele in Milan by the end of 2023. That's all for today. Which Bottega Veneta item is your favorite? Tell us in the comments section. Big Company Business will be back next week. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.